Why do you think some companies still ban AI tools internally and what will it take for those policies to shift? Lots of risk and uncertainty. So it's logical to ban things that you don't understand or that you think have a higher risk. And so in some cases, banning is because the people making the decisions don't fully understand and don't realize that there's probably a bunch of use cases that don't cause risk and concern. So it's just easier to ban them. When we think about things like agents that you're going to give access to your computer to and access to company data, like there's all kinds of risks, including things you can't even fathom that are being considered like data poisoning and prompt injection and like all these emerging research areas that IT sees this stuff and it's like, whoa, hold on, let's pump the brakes. Let's hold off on rolling things out. So yeah, sometimes you just have to trust that the information security people, cybersecurity people, like there's a reason why they're paid to manage the risk of a company. And you have to understand that and you have to be empathetic to that, that like everybody's trying to do their jobs here. And sometimes your job is to find the simpler use cases that can create value that don't cause these concerns or come up against them.